Hey everyone. Hey guys, welcome to Obscure MCU. In this episode, I'll be covering one of the many Iron Man suits in the Infinity Saga. This is the Mark 41. Codename, Bones. Bones was one of the many suits built by Tony after the Battle of New York, as part of his initiative to build a legion of suits, each tailored for specific tasks and purposes. The Mark 41 was summoned to assist Tony and Rhodey as part of the House Party Protocol. When Tony reached the Mark 41 in his Iron Legion project, he began to prioritize a new form of protective technology, a revolutionary way for the armor to assemble and disassemble, enhancing its adaptability in various situations. And that was the prehensile propulsion system. Bones was the first suit to adopt this framework. The Mark 41 carries a strikingly distinctive appearance. Unlike its red and gold counterparts, Bones stands out with a sleek and minimalist black and gold color scheme. With protruding gold shoulder pads, and edged symmetrical gold plates overlaying the base black armor components, adding a touch of elegance to the armor's look. Which was also showcased in the suit's unique segmented paneled helmet design. For both safety and practice, Bones was intentionally built with extra thin, flexible, and maneuverable plating, resembling an exoskeletal framework of the typical Iron Man armor, exposing the internal contents in the process. Hence the suit's codename. Later perfected in the Mark 42, Bones introduced a revolutionary way for the armor to assemble and disassemble, not only on the ground, but mid-flight as well. Enabling the armor pieces to serve as projectiles mid-flight. But due to a lack of onboard weaponry because of the thinner and aerodynamic build, Bones was capable of traveling at higher speeds but lacked an adequate defense mechanism compared to its predecessors. So its only options in combat were the standard repulsors and unibeam. Tony would use the Mark 41's prehensile propulsion system and improve upon its design when building the Mark 42. and ultimately perfected this feature in the Mark 43 a few years later. It's unclear if the Mark 41 was destroyed in battle, or in the Clean Slate Protocol, but I'm inclined to believe the former, due to the lack of onboard weaponry and thinner plating, which left Bones quite vulnerable. What's your favorite Iron Man suit in the MCU? Let me know in the comments and please like and subscribe for more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. As always, sir, a great pleasure watching you work.